We'll start with the simplest case, which is addition. Now, since I think everybody knows how to do basic addition on their own, we're not going to do a very complicated example, but you can think of it as the first step in a multi-step process, or perhaps an intermediate step, uh, where you don't want to forget what you had done in previous calculations, which will already be entered in your result line, and uh, this saves you uh, the problem that might be introduced in transcription error from incorrectly writing down a number or doing a, a simple step, seemingly simple step, incorrectly. Addition through clockwork is really a simple thing if you think about the way a mechanical clock works itself. Uh, when the second hand goes all the way around once on a clock, it causes the minute hand to increment by one place. And that's exactly the same sort of operation that's happening when you do addition in the machine. When one of the registers passes by the number nine on its way to the number zero, it causes the next gear to click one place, just like the minute clicking one place uh, on, on a clock when the second hand has gone around once. So clockwork addition is fairly simple to understand. We're gonna do a simple mathematical operation. We're gonna add two two-digit numbers to each other. We're gonna start with 17, which I enter here. I've made sure that the regulator is in the addition position, and I turn the crank one time. And you can see that the number 17 has appeared in the result line on the bottom. We're going to add 26 to that and turn the crank again. And 43 is in the result line, so that's great. Now, if we want to clear this number from the memory and start over again, we slide this to the side and it clears all those numbers and they're reset to zero. Now we're going to demonstrate subtraction with the machine. Subtraction is just backwards addition. It literally runs the gears backwards in the machine. So we'll do two examples in this case. I'm going to move the regulator to S and it's a subtraction in the window. We leave this arm alone in the addition subtraction position. Now since subtraction is backwards addition, we enter the, the number, the larger number, from which we want to subtract in the results line at the bottom. I'm going to enter 211. And from that, I'm going to subtract 65. We turn the crank. And it tells us our result in the result line, 146. For our second example, I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you, if you make a mistake and you over subtract a number. So in my results line, I still have 146 from the first step. I'm going to try to subtract 500 from that and we'll see what happens. The bell tells us that we've made a mistake and we have to go through a complex set of operations to undo our mistake. My result line now tells me 999996. Well, that's clearly not what I wanted, so I'm going to have to go back and start all over again.